Hello, my name is Joseph Nguviru. And my name is Charles Kenyon. Today, we would like to introduce to you the sustainable packaging solution, a game changer for consumers and above all, our planet. Our story began in June last year during a field trip in Lake Naivasha to investigate marine pollution. But our boat got stuck for close to five hours in the midst of water hyacinth. However, despite our predicament, it was painful to watch the poor fishermen who couldn't navigate their way back in the morning because their boats had been hemmed in by this weed. As engineers, we knew that this problem was up to us. If we can send man to the moon, we can find a way to send man across lakes infested by this weed. The stakes are high here, though. Hyacinth causes issues in navigation, fishing, water treatment, irrigation, and electric power production in more than 50 countries globally and lives have been affected. In Homer Bay, Kenya, for example, school-going children have failed to go to school for days, sometimes weeks, because of this weed surrounding the island. So, for our final year project, we sought out to clear the weeds and turn them into an economic benefit. Our lecturers loved the idea and they suggested that we could also try using other aquatic weeds growing in our school botanical garden. However, we found out that the wetland had shrinked and then its river running dry due to climate change and global warming. The DJ is that our school, Ijeton University, is located in Mao water catchment area, which is a major source of water for East Africa. So, we organized for a massive tree planting in school, where we had over 2,674 seedlings planted on zero budget. And that was our Eureka moment. We realized that for every tree planted, we had a plastic bag wasted and all toxic fertilizers would eventually run off into the river and cause more pollution. We decided to transform this weed into seedling wrappers that biodegrade within three to six months of planting. We designed these using AutoCAD and simulated using solid edge. Since hyacinth also offers high nutrients of potassium, phosphorus and nitrogen that facilitate plant growth, we do not remove the wrappers when planting and thereby contribute to a circular economy. Because of these nutrients, our test seedlings have shown up to 23% more growth rate than the conventional ones planted using plastic wrappers. This way, we solve the issues surrounding plastic waste, inorganic fertilizers, and water hyacinth. Meet Lacey, the Egerton University Agroforestry Manager, as she shares her experience. People are still looking for an option on how they are them do change from uh, polythene bags to something else that's biodegradable. It's the best. Think about it, Kabisa. Probably you'll be the first people who have implemented something new that will be taking us away from this. And actually, it will be something modern. How many seedlings do you sell per, per year? Around how many? More than 100,000. More than 100,000? Yes. So you have more than 100,000 pieces of this, this pieces lying somewhere? Yeah, exactly. Our R&D is further developing this into a wide range of biodegradable products to replace the single-use disposable items like the plates and the tumblers and straws used in events like parties. We are calling this higher pack. However, to fully realize this and make them food grid and launch into supermarket shelves, we need funding for 3D molding machine and extrusion machine. This is an initial capital cost of about 5,000 US dollars. However, in our action plan to transform societies, People showed interest in our project and soon we realized that innovations alone will not solve the problem of pollution. That's why we started Adopt a River projects across the country where we mobilize people at community level to clean up a section of the river, thus engaging them on responsible consumption and creating awareness about climate change and sustainability. We are turning movements into real action through a wider team of engineers and youth who want to see change. Now, when the fourth wave of the pandemic stuck, we still had the team running through Zoom and social media platforms. Our project has so far won the East Africa Youth for Climate Action Award and is continuously changing socioeconomic livelihoods. Thank you.